Thanks children. Welcome to my channel, Inside Accountancy by Shakun. Today we will be talking about Chapter 5, Admission of a Partner. And the contents of this video are Adjustments which are required at the time of admission of a partner. The treatments of various accumulated profits and reserves and losses which may exist at the time of admission of a partner. Special reference to investment fluctuation reserve and its treatment with the help of examples based on it. Now, there are various adjustments which are required at the time of admission of a partner. Why? Because a new partner is admitting into the firm, the partnership agreement is changing, the ratio, the partnership ratio between the partners is also changing. So basically, it leads to reconstitution of the firm, which leads to dissolution of the partnership, but not of the partnership firm. So at the time of any reconstitution, certain issues have to be addressed. These issues are determining the new ratio and the sacrificing ratio at the time of admission because the new partner uh, compensates the sacrificing partners. The treatment of goodwill, that's the compensation paid by the new partner to the sacrificing partners in the sacrificing ratio. The various uh, uh, reserves and accumulated profits and losses to be adjusted at the time. Assets and, re, uh, assets and liabilities are to be revalued and reassessed and the capital may be adjusted in the new ratio. We have already talked about the first two, that is when new ratio and sacrificing ratio is to be ascertained and the goodwill is to be treated. All the cases have been discussed in my previous videos. For more details, you can click on the I button. In this video, we will be talking about how the reserves and accumulated profits and losses are treated with special reference to investment fluctuation reserves. So let's understand the treatment of reserves and accumulated profits. So the treatment of accumulated profits and reserves, any reserves and accumulated profits or losses, they are always transferred to partners capital or current account depending upon the method of preparing capital account. At the time of change in profit sharing ratio, the reserves and the accumulated profits and losses, they always exist in the books of the firm, but they are always transferred to partner's capital account in case the capitals are fluctuating or they are transferred to current accounts if the capitals are fixed and this is always done in, done in their old profit sharing ratio. Why? Why in the old ratio? Because these reserves and undistributed profits and losses as on the date of change in profit sharing ratio, they were earned before that, before the change. So it all happened before the reconstitution of the firm. That is why they should be distributed in the old ratio. Now these accumulated profits and reserves are made on prudence principle, which states that we should make accounting for all uh, possible prospective losses. So in order to ensure that in future, whenever the losses occur, we do not get a financial burden what every business does is they start preparing for those losses by, by uh, appropriating certain amounts from their profits in the form of reserves and funds. Now, the various accumulated profits and reserves can be, you can see the balance sheet. These are the uh, basic, uh, like uh, the funds or the reserves that may be uh, given in a question. General reserve, p &L account, workman compensation reserve, investment fluctuation fund, PL account on the asset side also, goodwill, advertisement suspense, and deferred revenue expenditure. All the items that are mentioned on the liability side have a CR balance. And all the items that are mentioned on the asset side, they have a DR balance. Now, I've also mentioned employee provident fund here, although it is not an accumulated profit and reserve. Why? Because it is an outside liability. EPF is the money of the employees that is kept safe with us. So we cannot just utilize it for our purposes. It is outside liability and it is not transferred to partners, capital or current account. Rest all these amounts, they are written off and they are written off in their old ratio and transferred to partners, capital account. Moving on, uh, the treatment of accumulated profits and reserves is done through a journal entry. In case of the uh, reserves or accumulated profits for all those items which appear on the liability side, which have a CR balance, they are written off by debiting them and they are distributed between the partner's capital or current account in the old ratio. Similarly, all the losses which appear on the asset side, they have a DR balance. They are hence credited to be written off and then distributed between the partners in the old ratio. Moving on in this video, we'll be talking majorly about 
द इन्वेस्टमेंट फ्लक्चुएशन फंड और रिजर्व नाउ इन्वेस्टमेंट आर ऑलवेज रिकॉर्डेड इन आर बुक्स एट द कॉस्ट एट द कॉस्ट एट विच दे आर अक्वायर्ड हाउर द मार्केट वैल्यू मे बी डिफरेंट इट मे इधर बी इक्वल टू और लोअर देन और हायर देन इट्स बुक वैल्यू सो देर विल ऑलवेज बी अ चेंज बिटवीन द मार्केट वैल्यू एंड द बुक वैल्यू Investment fluctuation reserve is a reserve which is set aside, uh, set aside out of profits to meet the fall in the market value of investments. Investments are always subject to fluctuations. So, if due to a fluctuation there is a fall in the market value, if there is a loss, so that loss can be covered up through the investment fluctuation fund or reserve. See, either of the thing, uh, fund or reserve means the same. so at the time of change in profit sharing ratio we need to make a proper accounting uh, of uh, investment fluctuation reserve so there can be again certain situations which might uh, occur uh, they may be when the book value and market value are same so if the book value is 1 lakh and the market value is also 1 lakh so that means there is no change market value of what of the investment so in that case it does not link to the ifr or the investment fluctuation reserve it will not affect it because there is no change so investment fluctuation reserve will be distributed between the partners capital or current account in the old ratio why because there is no change in the market value and the book value both are same the second situation can be when the market value is lower than the book value so now when the market value is lower than the book value again there may be certain situations when the fall in value the amount by which it is decreasing the fall in value is lesser than ifr so the fall in value is let's assume if uh, the fall in value is uh, 10000 and uh, ifr is 15000 so in this case our fall in value is lesser than the ifr so what we'll do is we'll write off the ifr we'll Uh, the 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 fall in value that is the book value minus market value that will be credited because the value of investment is being decreased because of the fall in value see whenever investment is an asset and if there is a fall in the value of an asset it should always be credited so if ifr was 15000 and investments are being reduced by 10000 the remaining 5000 will be distributed between the partners in their old ratio moving on if the fall in value is equal to the investment fluctuation reserve so another example if the ifr was 15000 and the decrease in the value of investments is also 15000 so simple whatever is the amount of decrease by that amount we are going to credit the investment and we are going to recover that from the ifr so partners uh, capital account will not be credited moving on if the fall in value is more than the ifr so if the decrease is more than the ifr what happens is ifr will be debited with 15000 investments will be credited with let's say if the if the fall in value is more let's say if the fall in value is 18000 so investment will be credited with 18000 the difference 3000 will be debited to revaluation account since it is a loss and as soon as we see revaluation account we are going to distribute it write it off between the partners in the old ratio moving on if there is an increase in the market value of investment see whenever there is a decrease in that case ifr plays a major role because any kind of loss should should be covered up through the investment fluctuation reserve but if there is a increase that is we are making profits for profits we are not going to touch our reserves our reserves do not increase because of profits so in case of profits reserve will be written off in the normal manner ifr to partners capital account in the old ratio and the increase in the value of investment investment is an asset increase in asset is always debited so the increase in the value of uh, the investment will be credited to revaluation account and this gain will be distributed between the partners in their profit sharing ratio so let's take an example a b and c sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 4 3 2 that's the old ratio admitted d as a partner for 1 by 5 share in the firm with effect from april 2020 extract of their balance sheet is given in which investment fluctuation reserve is given as 18000 and the investments are also given at their cost their book value which is 2 lakh so we have a ifr of 18000 and investments book value is given as 2 lakh 
show the accounting treatment under the different alternative cases case 1 when there is no other information if no other information is uh, given so that means we only have the reserve there is no market value of investment or any fluctuation in investment that is not given so we will just write off the reserve when market value of investment is 2 lakh again it is same so no effect when market value of investment is 1,91,000, this is leading to decrease in the value of investment which should be covered up by IFR. The case 4, when market value is 2,18,000, in this case the market value is more, so therefore the investment is increasing. Increase in investment is not affected. Uh, does not affect investment fluctuation reserve it will be transferred to revaluation and when the market value is 173 there is a decrease in investment but the decrease is more so let's understand all these cases one by one and see how the journal entries will be passed in all these cases respectively so moving on to the first case when there is no other information see when there is no other information that means market value is not given in the question so we are only left with ifr of 18000 so investment fluctuation reserve just like any other reserve will be written off between the partners in their old ratio in the old profit sharing ratio so ifr is debited because it is written off 18000 and this 18000 is divided in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 2 between a b and c case 2 when the market value of investment is 1,91,000. Now the book value of investment was 2 lakh. So 2 lakh was the value which was given in our books. The market value of investment is 1,91,000. There is a fall in the value of investment. There is a decrease in the value of investment. And this decrease, what is the amount of decrease? The book value was 2 lakh. The market value is 1,91,000. So this 9,000, the 9,000 is the value of decrease. This will be covered up with from the IFR. So investment fluctuation reserve is debited with 18,000. Two investments, the amount of decrease since it is an asset. Whenever an, an asset decreases, it is always credited. So 9,000 is credited and the remaining 9,000 is distributed between A, B and C in their old profit sharing ratio. Moving on to case uh, 4, when market value of investment is 2 lakh. So when the market value of, in sorry, this is the case number 2. I did the case 3 first. So when market value of investment is 2 lakh, that means the market value and book value both are same. So in such a situation, when the market value and book value are same, in such a situation, our entry will be same. We are only, since there is no loss as such, no decrease in value, so we are only going to write off our IFR and distribute it between the partners. Moving on to case number 4. When market value of investment is 2,18,000. Now this is a case where market value is more and the book value is lesser because the book value was 2 lakh. So this 18,000 is the increase in the value of investment. In case of increase in the value of investment, IFR will not be affected. So therefore we have 3 entries here. IFR will be written off between partners in their old ratio normally. Then the increase in the value of investment, the increase was of 18,000. This increase will be transferred to revaluation account and then revaluation account balance will be written off between the partners in their profit sharing ratio. So this increase leads to a gain and this profit is distributed between partners in their old ratio. Please note that whatever we are doing, the revaluation or any kind of reserve that is always done in the old ratio, the new ratio has no role to play in this. Moving on to the last case, when market value of investment is 1,73,000. Now in this case, there is a decrease in the value of investment. The book value was 2 lakh. And uh, the market value is 173000 So 27000 is the decrease in the value of investment. But the decrease is more than the IFR available. IFR was only 18000 and the decrease is 27000 So in this case, IFR will be written off with 18000 The decrease in investment will be credited with 27000 And the balancing figure, the amount which we cannot cover up from the reserve, will be transferred to revaluation account. And this revaluation account, this loss will be distributed between the partners in their profit sharing ratio. So as soon as we see the revaluation account, it has to be written off between the partners. 
So in this video, we have talked about the adjustments required at the time when a new partner is admitted, the treatment of reserves and the various accumulated profits and losses that I, that I showed you in the video uh, with special uh, reference to investment fluctuation reserve and its treatment when different informations are given in the question. We understood this with the help of an example. I hope the concepts are clear. If you like my content, please like my video. Uh, show some love, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified. Any doubts or queries, email me or leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for being so patient.